In minutes, dinner is served. But is the plastic on these microwave meals toxic? We're at the Good Housekeeping Lab putting your favorite frozen foods to the test. We are peeling back the truth on packaging and keeping you from getting sick. Plus, forget turkey day tension. We've got foolproof fixes for a stress-less Thanksgiving. That is a pretty good result. Coming up next. Y'all ready for season 10? Yeah! Frozen food aisle revival, a boom that has reached an estimated 53 billion in sales. That's B with a billion. But is the way we're heating our microwavable frozen dinners a hazard, a health hazard to our family? Well, take a look at all these plastic pieces here. I mean, they're all zapped, right? Some of them a little too much. This is a good example of that. And it's not alone. There are other ones that have been zapped the wrong way as well. Plus, is uncooked food sneaking in that could make us sick? So I've got a couple questions for the audience here because Claudia is joining me, and Claudia is told that her sister Patricia, at least she thinks she has. And you say that, uh, Claudia, that your sister uses microwave foods consistently. Way too often. Tell your story. Defend yourself. I am too busy. I have three jobs. I have no time to cook, so I feel like I'm meal prepping. It's convenient. They taste good. Perfect portion sizes, and it comes with a dessert. That sounds Perfect. pretty good. I mean, yeah. doesn't this sound pretty good, everybody? <laughs> So what's wrong with that? That sounds pretty I, good. I don't like that. I don't like that she's eating these these, this, these foods out of this plastic um, on a daily basis. She takes it out of the microwave and it's like gooey and it's <laughs> melting. And I'm the older gross. sister. She needs to yeah. listen to me. <laughs> yeah. But the plastic's melting too, right? I'm sorry. The, the plastic's melting too, not just the food. Yes, and it's it's pretty gross. How many people are concerned about the plastic melting? Yeah, a lot of folks. <laughs> So, because so many people are relying on these microwave meals, the same concerns that both of you are bringing up for the good and for the bad, I decided to take a little trip to the Good Housekeeping Institute to investigate. Is it safe to microwave our frozen dinners in plastic? A lot of my staff eats frozen microwave meals, but after cooking them, they've noticed something strange happens. These plastic containers seem to have gotten a little flimsier, and sometimes they even melt like this one, right? So that got us thinking, what's actually going on inside there? And is some of this plastic really melting? To find out, I went to Good Housekeeping to run some tests. They investigate all kinds of products, moisturizers, laundry detergents, lunch boxes, even sweaters. So soft. And products to get the Good Housekeeping seal of approval, well, they're good. Betty Gold oversees all kitchen product testing and reviews. She agreed to test two popular frozen microwave meals for us. Lasagna and chicken nuggets. All right, so how do we know what to do? So we read the instructions, and yours starts out with one minute, and mine starts out with four. All right, I'll race you. First, we heated both following the package instructions to a T. Enjoy. Well, it's steaming, so this plastic seems intact. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. I don't think it seems any flimsier. Nor was the plastic on Betty's meal any flimsier. On to the next test. We thawed the meals. So now we're going to see what happens when we cook these when they've been sitting out for a while. So like if you bought them in the store that day and got home, never, never froze them again. Exactly, and they thawed to room temperature. Again, we heated them following the package instructions. Thawing is a very common human error we see with frozen meals. These things are really meant to be cooked directly out of the freezer. But the plastic does seem pretty much intact. Yeah, mine too. Doesn't feel too flimsy. Feels like the structure is holding up. And for the final test... So now these have been thawed to room temperature and we're going to heat them for two extra minutes to show another common human error. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought I heard popping in there. Ooh, now that's popcorn. <laughs> Look at this. So the plastic melted, and this Ooh. is, uh, you know, a lot of the integrity has gone off this. Yeah, it's very warped. People really do this? I think a lot of people really do this. I think that a huge problem...
with frozen meals is that people cook them on autopilot without actually reading the manufacturer's instructions. Man, look, this whole plastic is melted in here. Ooh, yeah. Oh my God, it's like liquid. I'm worried about the BPA. I'm worried that this plastic is melting and, get, and getting into my food. Absolutely. Uh, BPA is a huge concern for many consumers. Um, this is a chemical found in plastic that may leach into food when heated. To find that if either container had BPA, Good Housekeeping sent them to an outside lab for further testing. Megan Murphy, executive editor of Good Housekeeping, is here. So our team has joined forces to test how the plastic in frozen meals held up in the microwave. So why is this testing more important now than ever? Well, for the first time in years, there's been a real uptick in the frozen food market. I mean, we all say we're busier than ever before, right? And we heard it. Convenience is absolutely key. And honestly, there's just tastier, healthier options. So we know we're eating these meals, right? So let's make sure we're doing it safely. All right, so you all saw that user error can be a problem. The plastic covering on dishes can melt like this one did. It's not hard to make it happen. So why could that be concerning? So what we're worried about here is BPA, because there's a lot of health concerns. It could affect your brain health, you know, potentially your hormone levels, babies in utero. There's even been some indications that it could raise your blood pressure. Yeah, and all of us seem to have some of it in our body, in small amounts, mm -hmm. but some of it's there already, so we got to look for sources. So, are you ready for the answers, guys? The testing results. <laughs> They're anxiously waiting. The Good Housekeeping sent off four plastic samples from the two popular brands we were testing, right, of these frozen meals, to an outside lab to test for BPA. Microwave meal A had... None. No BPA. Mm -hmm. No BPA. Mm -hmm. How about microwave meal B? Melted plastic at all had none. No BPA. No. This is great. It's great great news. news. The only real danger for overheating your food is maybe you're going to burn the roof of your mouth. Yeah. But if you are concerned, I've got a couple key tips. So first of all, never, ever, ever put plastic in the microwave that doesn't explicitly say microwave safe. Don't put your plastic in the dishwasher, even top shelf, don't do it. And before you store your leftovers in plastic, make sure that food is cooled. Right, all wonderful tips, easy to follow. And while cooking your microwave meal may be safe in terms of the plastic, there's a whole other issue we're gonna tackle next. Hidden food poisoning outbreaks happening because of common microwave misconceptions, including thinking a meal like this, look carefully, thinking that it's fully cooked. But is it? Up next, the surprising microwave mistakes that could make your family sick. <laughs>